The official website just dropped some fresh details about the upcoming alpha test. Think of it as your chance to get a sneak peek at. And the plan is to run this test for about 3 days towards at the end of October. Now before we start, keep in mind that not everyone who applies will get to board this exclusive test flight. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of what this alpha test is. While it might seem like it's just about putting the game through its paces, there's actually a bigger picture here. The main goal is to give the online services an in-depth shakedown. Microsoft wants to make sure everything runs as smooth as butter when the full game finally takes off. It's important to remember that this is very much a test flight, not the full journey. Some features will be staying in the hangar for now, including the marketplace and training modules. Also, if you were hoping to bring along your favorite content from the 2020 version, I'm afraid that won't be possible this time around. But don't let that clip your wings, you still get to spread them with free flight, career mode, challenges, and a discovery feature. Think of it as a tasty sample platter of what's to come in the full release. Now a word of caution, we might hit some turbulence during this test. The game could crash or behave in ways you wouldn't expect in a finished product. That's all part of the process when a test flight like this. If you're itching to get into the cockpit for this alpha test, here's what you need to know about eligibility and requirements. First off, you need to be at least 18 years old when you apply. You also need a Microsoft account. Think of it as your boarding pass for this adventure. For now, this party is Windows only, and you need to use the Windows Store version of the game. Also, if your PC doesn't meet the requirements, your chance of being picked up will drop. Microsoft might be checking out your system specifications through something called DXDiag, which we'll talk more about in a moment. Ready to throw your hat in the ring? Here's your step-by-step -step guide to getting your name on the list. First, make your way to the official Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 website. Scroll down until you spot the Insider Sign-Up Survey here link and give it a click. You'll be presented with a chunk of text, that's the term of service. It's a good idea to give a read before checking the box that says you agree. Next up, you need to punch in your email address. Then comes the fun part, a survey. You will answer questions about your gaming habits, your experience with flight sims, and a few other topics. Last but not least, you need to upload your DXDiag file. Here's how to do that. Press the Windows key and type DXDiag. Then run it and click Yes when asked about checking driver signatures. Once it's done its thing, click Save All Information and make sure to save it as an XML file. That's important. Upload that file and you're all set. Don't worry if you need to change anything later, you can always go back and edit your application if you need to. Here's the deal, if you get picked up for the alpha, you'll be sworn to secrecy. The agreements talk about keeping the information confidential, but it's a bit fuzzy on the details. I'm not sure yet if you can share videos or streams of the alpha gameplay. If you're dying to see it for yourself, applying is your best bet. Don't let your spirits nosedive if you don't make it into the alpha. The full game is just around the corner about a month away. Here's what you need to remember. The alpha test is happening, but many details are still up in the air. Not everyone who applies will get in. It's more like a lottery than a first come, first serve situation. You need to meet some hardware requirements and send it that DXDiag file to be considered. I hope this video helps your understandings, and I'll be grateful if you could give me a like, sub, and comments if it did. Next time again, and I hope you could join the alpha test. Good luck.